everyone. Join me on a real exciting day today. We've got uh, three big boxes from Talk Parts, uh, Talk Parts from Talk GT. Thanks a lot to Matt Beard, Matt Beardmore, who's been uh, speaking to me for probably about half, half a year on some of these parts. Um, so yeah, he's made up a massive list for me, or I made up a massive list, and he helped me out um, in terms of put, put, putting it all together and getting it ship, ship, shipped out to me. So I thought that I would wait to open them and make 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 a video of sort of like a an unboxing video and a reaction video because there's quite a bit of money here. Um, this is probably I'd say. This will put me about 90%, 95% done with the case swap in terms of all of the parts I need and everything like that. And obviously I've got to put it all together um, and yeah, start building because the my old room at my dad's place here is uh, getting full of parts. So I came came down here the other day and uh, started to get rid of some of the oxidization on the engine because obviously it's just been left for, for a little while once I polished it all up. So yeah, I got rid of some of the uh, oxidization and I've started to paint this now along with the uh, steering rack as well, the silver silver portion on the DC2 steering rack. So that's starting to get painted. I've got all my seals and gaskets and everything like that for the uh, K20. And there's something else in here that will help with the completion of the gearbox and uh, K20 engine. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'll pull the camera forward now and we'll uh, try and get a bit of unboxing done on these three boxes. I've got a clue for you though. Look at see the sign. See the, see the sign behind the boxes. Yeah, that's a big clue. <laughs> so let's get to some unboxing. I think it's uh, yeah, it's time. I've waited all day yesterday to do this. Absolutely buzzing to get in there. So let's let's get in these boxes, shall we? So this is what I was saying about the engine. Um, I, I just put a really really light coat on. I've used this uh, stuff. Shouted out Ben Barnes ages ago for this recommendation. I think it was Honda that did his uh, Tahitian Green EG, um, and he recommended this stuff, which which was done, um, which is what his engine was painted with. So it's a brush-on paint, uh, silver of course, e e engine lacquer or e e engine enamel. Um, yeah, and just you just put really really light coats on, so you don't see any brush marks or anything like that. You don't get any runs. And what what I've done so far is just a real light. Uh, first coat. That's what you can see there. I've done it on the other side as well. I haven't done the head yet, and obviously I haven't done it like this this yet. But I've also done the silver part of the steering rack, which is on the, uh, the bench as well. All right then. So let's open up the first box. Hopefully you can see clearly. This is the biggest box. I've got a feeling of what's in here. So thank you again to Matt at Talk GT uh, for organising all of these parts. Like I was saying, this has been. Um, Basically, I'm quite sad, and I've made uh, I made three uh, A4 bits of paper with absolute massive lists on pretty much the whole um, something cat catalog. Any guesses? <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much that whole catalog. Um, pretty much all of the hard race cat catalog, uh, BC coilovers, loads of OEM Honda parts. Just yeah, there's a lot of parts on these lists, and then I've got the third page. Which is pretty much all of the um, sort of cherry on top pieces. So you're sort of like spoon glass. Which Adam Grant, uh, one of my one of my best mates, he actually surprised me as a Christmas gift um, with some spoon with, with with the spoon rear view mirror glass. That's on my third list. So I've managed to get that one off. Which so yeah, really really appreciate that, Adam. Felix, if you're watching this, that's uh, that's Adam's son. He's um, he's one of my biggest viewers, I think. He absolutely loves the red uh, red Milano Civic. I'm not sure if anyone remembers, but it's got a uh, sort of Crown Honda badges all around it. And he runs around going, Crown Honda, Crown Honda. So we, um, yeah, just want to say a shout out to Felix. Um, I hope you like your Christmas present that, that I got you. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing all these parts and I hope everyone that's watching enjoys looking at all these parts along with me as well. Because like I was saying, this list, I started, make, I made this list um, well, I started the case swap, which is probably coming up to 10, 12, 12, 12, 12 months now. So it's been some time. Um, so yeah, let's get, let's get this opened up and let's see what's in there, shall we? There we go. Ooh. So, oh my days. Good lordy. Yep, 
It's happened. It's happened. I've ordered the massive hybrid racing list that I've had on my uh, parts list for a long time now. Loads of stickers. Ooh. And as I was saying, oh, I'm dropping Marwams all over the place. Massive shout out to Talk GT for providing some air fresheners and sorting out all of these parts, giving out some Marwams. And yeah, this is one hell of an order. I'm absolutely buzzing to get in this. So let's start to open everything up and let's uh, let's see what we've got, shall we? All right. So let's look at this one first. How good is the packaging though? How good is the packaging? That's one thing I've always loved with hybrid racing parts. Just the, you know, it could just be a brown box. I know a lot of these boxes they are, are just brown, but why not do something like this with your, with your packaging? It just makes things even nicer to open, doesn't it? So on this one, we have the hybrid racing swivel uh, thermostat. Now obviously the, the, the K-tuned one is out as well. Um, but when I was specking all this up, I noticed this is a new part from hybrid racing. So I thought, you know what? I'm ordering everything hybrid racing. Why not, like, why not order, order, order this? So we'll open that in a sec. So we've got that. We've got this big box here, which is the case swap power, power steering kit. So that basically gives us um, sort of our mini rad, all of our, all of our lines and everything like that to just mate up straight away. Um, one thing I still do need to get, so if there's anyone out there that's got one, drop a comment down below. I need a DC5 Integra, 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 DC5 Integra Type R uh, power, power steering pump. So if anyone's got one, give me a shout, because I need one of them. All right, then we've got, in here, this is the fuel rail. So we've got the black universal hybrid racing uh, fuel rail. Then got another box here. This is the radiator hoses. So we've got a uh, hybrid racing radiator hoses there. We've then got in here uh, S2000 Clutch master cylinder. So I thought to myself, you know, uh, the the clutch, the, the slave, and the and the master cylinder. I thought, you know what? Let's just get new ones of the of those because I thought let's just let's just get everything new and let's just make sure that everything's you know good. So then any, any problems we have, we know that it's not any of the any, any of these parts basically. Um, so yeah, plus it just makes the engine bay look a lot better, doesn't it? Let's be honest, everything on this car. It's pretty much brand new, if not new. 27,000 mile shell, everything's being replaced. Anything that's OEM has pretty much been powder coated. Um, and we've got a load of new parts. So this build is gonna be something special. We even have, uh, this is a bit overkill, but I just thought, why not? We've got the oil, the oil cooler hoses. So you know the hoses that go on the back of the engine. We've got those as well. This is the hybrid racing intake kit. So yeah, I was on an iron about about getting this because um, I know it's been looked at about apparently a, sh a short straight uh, intake is quite beneficial. But then I was doing some reading on this and apparently using um, an aluminium um, tube effectively or in 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 intake pipe is a. Uh, because aluminium is a great therm thermal conductor, apparently it actually does, does, doesn't help much of intake temp. So that's why you see a lot of people using uh, that sort of the gold foil tape or heat wrap or anything like that. So I just thought, you know what? The car's not gonna be used on, on a wet day unless I get caught out at, at a show or on a track day or something like that. So the majority of time it's gonna be in the dry, if not all, all of the time. So in terms of sucking up water from the ground or anything like that, a low mounted intake system didn't, didn't really bother me. Plus it makes the engine bay look a lot cleaner with this setup. So we've got the cold air intake system as well. <laughs> how good are new parts? It's Christmas, it is Christmas. But regardless of that, how good are new parts? I'm very, very fortunate to be able to buy these parts. Very, very fortunate because ever since hybrid racing came around however many years ago, like 10 plus years ago, 
you may remember, back in the day they had the awesome sauce, well they still do, but the awesome sauce air fresheners. And that was what I absolutely loved. If you ever saw a car that had those in, usually in the States, it was pretty much guaranteed to be like K-swapped. And I always said to myself, one day I'm gonna run one of them awesome sauce air fresheners. And you know what? We got them, baby. We got them. So these are, I'm not sure if you can see them there, the uh, the standard hybrid racing uh, sort of ketchup bottle, if you can call it that, uh, or, awesome sauce. So yeah, we've got five of those. Thanks a lot to uh, Talk GT for six, just sticking those in. Loads of bubble wrap. This box. Let me just. I've just got to show you inside this box real quick. Inside here, this is a box full of hybrid racing parts. So we've got all those there. And then we've got all these in here. So let's check out what we've got in here, shall we? This is the OEM uh, replacement throttle cable. And as far as I'm aware, you have to make sure that you've got either the longer one or the shorter one. I can't, can't quite remember, but if you look at the listings, it tells you all on there, which one you should need. I think it's for EKs, you need the longer one. So we've got the longer one here. Then we have, oh, oh good Lord. We got some more Marwams. We got some more Marwams. And some more air fresheners. And some more hybrid racing stickers. <laughs> Woo! Alright, then, then we've got a lot of the smaller packages in here. So again, nice little uh, small hybrid racing box. This is the fuel pressure regulator. So we've got that as well. We've got the case swap ground kit. A lot of people, you know, you can just make your own grounds, but I thought, why not? You know, these are all the right sizes. I've got the right connectors on, everything like that. Just so let's just do it, let's just do it properly. Plus they say hybrid racing on, so. Only one of them says hybrid racing on. It'd be good if they all said it, but. Then we've got another smaller box. This is the slave cylinder. This is the fuel pressure gauge. So the liquid filled uh, fuel pre fuel pressure gauge. Part number, if anyone that wants it. I, I just want to show you the uh, the fuel pressure gauge because I've always liked these. Something about the hy hybrid race now they use obviously the lime green and everything like that. Ooh. Is that not rad? Check that out. Lime green, hybrid racing, liquid fuel, pressure gauge. Oh yeah. Another, another small box. This is the oil cap. I've wanted this part for ages. This is such a cool part. I've, I've, got, to, I've got to get this out if I can and just show you. For anyone that hasn't seen it anyway. Each hybrid racing part is sealed with one of their stickers. Ooh. Each part comes with a sticker as well. But check this out. I have wanted this for a long, long time. So this oil cap is hella expensive. That's what I'll say it is, it's hella expensive. But apart from that, it's basically, if it can focus, basically a completely smooth oil cap. So you can see, if I pull this one off here, you see, oh, you can see my dirty ass OEM oil cap from where someone painted the rocker cover has got red all over it. It's just, you know, just this bog standard OEM oil, oil cap. Then you've got the lovely flush hybrid racing oil cap, which if I show you, I'm sure I've not got any oil on me. It's got this little, this little indent here. Woo. And that obviously allows you to tighten it and loosen it. And then, what a satisfying click. 
Oh my days. I've wanted this part. <laughs> I've wanted this part for so long. So long. I finally got it. This build is gonna be something else. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. Uh, we've got the fuel rail. I think I've already, I think I've already showed you the fuel rail. This is the line kit to go in it. So obviously you can buy your own lines, buy all of your um, AN fittings and everything like that. These ones are all um, to size, and obviously got all the correct fittings on and everything. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let's just buy these. I'm gonna show, show you these real quickly. So in here comes the fuel lines. And here comes all of the black, uh, black, black braided line and also the black AN fittings as well. And it also comes with the um, fuel filter as well inline hybrid racing fuel 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 filter. So you can get rid of that big old unit on the firewall and you can just have this down the side of the engine somewhere. The, re the reason why I've done this, the reason why I made this list of all these hybrid racing parts, I've not done a sort of major engine swap to this sort of extent before. And I just kind of thought, you know what, this is Potentially one of the last builds I'm going to do, you know, we're all cracking on, everything like that. So I just thought, you know what, this might be one of the last builds that I do, so why not make it dream spec? Got rid of the Skyline, as you all know, and I've not got sort of a, another car now. I've just got my Mazda daily, and that's it. So I thought, you know what, I found the 27,000 mile rust free Civic. Why not make it dream spec? So then when I open up that bonnet, it looks just like my Skyline did of, wow, I absolutely love that. You know, I've got the engine bay painted now, that looks absolutely incredible. Why not have all parts to match that? Why not? So, what else have we got here? We've got our performance clutch line in here. Which we might as well just have a little look. And here is our hybrid racing braided uh, clutch line. It looks like it's got a protective sleeve on it as well. Which is nice to see, got all new banjo bolts and washers and everything in there. So that's a nice specific clutch line to make up with all of our new slave and master cylinder and everything like that. I cannot believe that I've got all these parts. I cannot believe it. Building this car is going to be fun, I'm telling you. Then we have a couple of little pieces. We have the Hybrid Racing S2000 uh, clutch. I think it's for the, I always get it mixed up between the Slave and Master, but the one that goes that goes on the bulkhead or the firewall, you need a, an S2000 spacer for it. So we now have the Hybrid Racing S2000 spacer. And of course, it says Hybrid Racing on it. You gotta get that, haven't you? Let's be honest, you gotta get that. New Hybrid Racing, a cool coolant switch, most likely just an OEM part, but we've got that as well. We then got the uh, coolant temperature sensor adapter, which I believe goes on to the inlet. Um, so we've just got an adapter for that as well. Then, so I've obviously got my hybrid racing um, performance shift cables. Sometimes they're super close to the manifold, so I thought let's get some, um, let's get the thermal protectors. So you can see there, these are the thermal protectors just to basically protect your shift, your shift cables. So we've got those, that feels a really nice thick, really nice thick material. Another sticker. We've got two, two hybrid racing parts left in this box, I believe. So, the last two hybrid racing parts in this box are, how good is it going through parts that you don't even know what's there? I know, I know what's on the order, but I could not, yeah. Oh. Oh, we've got to get this out as well. We've got to get this out. Comes with a uh, comes with a little bag. It says hybrid racing uh, assembly tools and hardware, which is pretty cool. Stick those down there. Nice little protective sleeve. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! We've got the Hybrid Racing V2 uh, coil pack cover. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is insane. This engine is going to look something else, I'm telling you. What? Oh man, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So then we have our last hybrid racing part in this box, which is the hybrid racing inlet manifold gasket. Um, so yeah, I just thought, you know what? Let's just get a thermal in intake manifold uh, gasket for it. Plus, it says hybrid racing on it. I mean, I am an absolute brand snob. As multiple people say, multiple people like I like the premium thing and I'll spend more money on things that just because I've got a name on it. But come on, we've got all these hybrid racing parts. Right then, then we've got the big boys in here. So, we've got a Fidanza lightened flywheel, as we can see here. So, Here's a lightened flywheel, Fidanza lightened flywheel. I think it's, I can't remember the, the weight of it. I think it's three point something kilograms. I have to double check. I don't think it says on there. But uh, yeah, this has got a, a replaceable uh, sort of grip, if you can call it that. Uh, this piece here is, is, is replaceable. It's very unlikely that I'm gonna need to do this in my uh, ownership. Although I hope to keep this car for a very, very long time. But yeah, it was uh, recommended by Matt um, to potentially go for, go for this one just because of that replacement value. Um, so yeah, so we've got this lightened Fidanza flywheel. And to go with that, the last thing in, the, in this box is our Exidy clutch. So we just went for stage one, uh, stage one clutch if we can call it that, or sports clutch, however we want to call it. Um, but basically, I went for this one because I don't plan on turbo in the car. I've done that before. I went to turbo my old uh, B18 C4, had friends with turbo Civics, and the headaches and potential problems it brings is just, yeah, I want a nice, reliable NA car that's for the track, for shows, for driving to different places I can film at, and yeah, just to use as a reliable car. So the most I'll probably do is, you know, maybe a different intake in the future, some cams, um, K-Pro, stuff like that, you know, get to the elusive 250K, uh, K20 mark. But yeah, for the time being, and most likely for my future with the car, that's all I, all I need. So we've got a nice stage one or sports clutch. Obviously all in individual boxes here. Comes with a bearing as well. So yeah, so that's that. Then we have the last box. So I don't think I've ever taken this long to open up this many parts. I don't know if I've ever had this many parts to open up at once. So let's move this one out of the way. I'm well, sorry, but can you see that? Can you see? <laughs> can you see how many parts there are? Just look at that. All of those individual hybrid racing parts, all of those there. Oh, oh here. Hybrid racing main, hybrid racing. So yeah, you could probably see here, um, not sure if anyone can read the label on there, but this is something again I've wanted for a long, long time. Um, just because it makes the engine bay look amazing, it fits straight out of the box. You don't have to do no welding, you don't have to make nothing. It fits straight out of the box. So this is uh, the last hybrid racing part and the last part that we're going to be opening. So let's have a look at this. Shout out torque parts. Yeah. Shout out. I bought the full width, full width K-swap uh, K-swap radiator. So obviously it's got the HR on there, which you're not really gonna see. But the one main thing with this radiator is it fits the OEM, you see at the bottom here, you got these points here, that point, that point, and that point, all fit the OEM, uh, the OEM radiator uh, stays. So there's no drilling, there's no uh, welding up, or smashing off old brackets and making new ones or anything like that. It just fits straight out of the box onto the slam panel. 
So yeah, it comes with hybrid racing radiator cap. Comes with that, which is pretty cool. It's also got um, an area, it's also got a drain on the bottom. Also comes with two radiator stays. So again, instead of having to sort of make up some metal or buy others, um, it comes with two radiator stays, one for left, one for right, some hardware, everything you need to mount it. And that is why I've bought so many hybrid, hy hy hybrid racing parts. Come on. Hybrid racing parts because, ooh, because they look amazing and they come straight out of the box as you would hope. And yeah, I'm uh, there's some polystyrene. <laughs> Good lord. But yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Matt at, at uh, Talk Talk GT, Matt Beardmore at Talk GT, for giving me the time to go through all these parts and, and answering some questions for me and making the list, making the, um, the parts order for me. So yeah, Talk GT, Talk Parts, and Matt specifically, thank you very much for everything you've done. It's uh, going to be real special to put all these parts on the car. I absolutely can't wait to, uh, over the next week or two, to start cleaning up the engine a little bit more, cleaning up the rack a little bit more, getting the subframe and everything together, putting some hybrid racing parts on the engine, putting the power steering kit and everything inside the, the engine bay, and uh, cracking on from there. I think the K20 is going to be being dropped in soon. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed over the next week or two, we can make some progress on this K-Swap build. I think it's going to be something special. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.